A coal dust explosion at the Massey Energy Upper Big Branch Mine rocked the small town of Montcole, West Virginia. Let's take a deeper look at this industrial incident in this episode of Today in History. The explosion occurred at 3.27 p.m. local time on Monday, April 5th, 2010, at the Upper Big Branch South Mine. The explosion ignited from an unknown source, with high methane levels being a contributing causal factor. 25 men were initially identified as killed. Four days later, four missing men were found dead for a total of 29 deaths. One survivor reported he felt a rush of air, followed by a blast of hurricane-force wind. He encountered flying debris as he escaped the mine. The blast was heard and felt for miles. A miner working at another site approximately seven miles away from the blast said when it happened, it was just like your ears stopped up. You couldn't hear, and it was like being in the middle of a tornado. Rail lines were twisted like pretzels, according to rescue workers, and mining machines were blown to pieces. Due to the large concentration concentration of toxic gases in the mine, MSHA investigators had to wait for over two months to enter the mine for investigation. On May 19, 2011, the independent investigation team released a report that faulted Massey Energy and the MSHA for the blast. The report strongly condemned Massey for multiple failures to meet basic safety standards outlined in the Mine Act of 1977. The investigation found that the company's ventilation system did not adequately ventilate the mine, causing explosive gases to build up. Also detailed in the report are allegations that Massey Energy threatened miners with termination if they expressed safety concerns. Numerous other state and federal safety standards that Massey failed to comply with were detailed in the report. Investigators also say that the U.S. Department of Labor and its Mine Safety and Health Administration were at fault for failing to act decisively on the mine even after Massey was issued 515 citations for safety violations at the Upper Big Branch Mine in 2009. The report criticizes IMSHA inspectors for failing to issue a flagrant violation citation, which could have fined the company up to $220,000. Investigators claimed that this citation was entirely necessary given Massey's failure to meet basic safety protocols, and the investigators found it disturbing that the violation was not issued. The failure to issue flagrant violation citations was attributed to IMSHA, which also failed to notify the miners and their families that they were working in a mine that had not met minimum safety requirements. As further evidence of IMSHA's failure in the lead-up to the mine explosion, the report discusses how IMSHA safety inspectors failed to enforce the safety protocols at Massey Energy's Aracoma Alma No. 1 mine. In November 2014, the then-CEO Don Blankenship was indicted by a federal grand jury on four criminal counts, including conspiracy to violate safety laws, defrauding the federal government, securities fraud, and making false statements to the United States Security Securities and Exchange Commission. Blankenship was convicted of a single misdemeanor charge of conspiring to violate federal mine safety standards and served a one-year prison sentence. That wraps up this episode of Today in History. What do you think about the fines that were imposed? Do you think Blankenship should have been held more accountable? Let us know in the comments section below. And be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. We'll see you on the next Today in History.